Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hey you guys, it's September and we are doing a September hard push for weight loss. Before the holidays, yes we are. And today is an 18 hour fast, six hour eating window. It's a regular keto day so use your macros, eat the food you love and move your body everybody. Gotta move the body, yes indeed. Huh, <sighs> you guys. I had major issues on Friday and Saturday wasn't feeling too spiffy. Um, yesterday I felt normal. Today, well, normal for Wendy anyway, you guys. But I wanna let everybody know for the new folks and anybody who comes here often that everything that we eat and drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, any over exercise, over exertion, sore muscles, sore and achy muscles, right? Um, over the counter medicines, allergies. Harry and I are having a major allergy issue this week. It's like you bend your head down and you're. It's just like a little faucet. Yeah, just I got like a, a little faucet. I got like a sore throat around the station too. But I think area. that's from the the it back post nasal exactly, it's exactly what stuff it is. that's going on. TMI, TMI. <clears throat> but anyway, if you're taking over the counter allergy medicine, if you're taking over the counter Aleve, Naproxen, um, anything like that, if you have inflammation, like I get a flare up in my hands, which my hands feel really good. Um, Today. Yeah, they do. I don't have a problem. A lot of people asked, you guys, we went ax throwing. I was just gonna ask you that. This part of my arm, right here where this big old muscle is, I got this huge muscle right here. Yeah, yeah man. I do. Well, job. Look. You're gonna beat me up, see? That's I'm why I, muscle. That's why I hide. <gasps> muscles. Um, if you get sore muscles, water gets pulled to that area to help with the inflammation um, as well. But I'm happy to say that the axis did not bother this part of my hands at all because I was worried about that um, so we had a ball but anyway I digress sorry back on track squirrel yeah ah so easily done anyway you guys I I'm I can't sorry. see I, I can't see Harry's doing these weird things with his face yeah Where's trying my? to Where's your put my board? You ever try to itch your eyes? It's over there. You ever try to itch your eyes without your fingers? Try it. It's really hard to do. That's why you're wiggling your nose all over uh -huh. the place. He's like, yep, I'm pulling it, the man. camera. I have. You guys should. I should have a camera over here so they can see what I see and your facial expressions. Because sometimes I blank out and people are going, well, "Okay, Wendy forgot what she was saying." It's, I'm looking at Harry. I'm looking at Harry. I don't know if that'd be a good idea. It's scary this time of the morning. <laughs> I don't want you to touch your hair. Just leave it just the way it is. Just the way it is. Okay, oh, everybody. Oh. oh Yesterday great. was a protein sparing modified fast day. We had a turkey sandwich. Yeah, I got good, low man. sodium uh, boar's head turkey breast. I made a nice sandwich. We had pickles and mustard, and it was absolutely delicious. And that Protein sparing modified fast. I don't know about everybody else, but that is such a lifesaver. It is so filling and I am not hungry on it. It's hard to eat. You would think you'd be famished. Not at all when you eat the protein sparing modified fast. It's so high protein that um, I think it just gives your body what it needs and it's happy. I had and Harry had this is a weird color blue. It's yeah. kind of faded. Mm -hmm. uh, we had seven ounce ground beef bowl last night with protein sparing modified bread toast on the side. We of course put mustard on our ground beef because Harry can't live without his French mustard ground beef bowl. Collagen, three teaspoons key two creamer made by Super Coffee. Someone asked and I'll share that in just a minute. 2% carbs for a total of 4 grams. That was awesome. 25% fat for a total of 22 grams. That was fantastic. Look at this, you guys. 73% protein. 151 grams for a total calories of 851. This is awesome, you guys. I need to be above 120 protein grams because that's my lean body mass weight. 
And Harry needs to be above 133 because that's his lean body mass weight. So we both hit it the nose right on the target. Yes, indeed. But I want to share because a couple people have asked what's key to creamer. If you're looking for a creamer, so I just want to share it real quick. I know I have to go. Well, you have to do the weight too. This is key to, see the little key to, it's the super creamer. You can get by, from Super Coffee. We get ours auto delivered and we get three in a container. And here it is. I needed something for Harry and I that was dairy free because Harry is sensitive to dairy. I needed something that did not have any almonds or almond milk in it. And we wanted good clean ingredients. So this is what we got. It's got purified water, pea protein, Coconut, MCT oil, monk fruit, natural vanilla flavor, gum arabic, potassium phosphate, natural flavor, gel and gum, and calcium carbonate. And you guys, it's delicious and we love it. And it's 15 calories for three tablespoons. Tablespoons. Uh, Zero carbs. And I'm just a so, sensitive guy. I like this. They have other flavors, but every flavor has to be different calorie and carb count. I believe the hazelnut or the caramel has the higher, like one to three carbs for three tablespoons serving, but I really like that one the best. That's just me. I like the mocha. We get that too, but sometimes I get cho too much chocolate in a row and all of a sudden I'm done with chocolate, but I really like that, especially with my cinnamon, my toasted cinnamon, perfect keto collagen. That's really good. Anyway, wait, you guys. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Um, our weight, you guys, I was, I got down because of Friday. So Saturday I had my new all-time low. But you guys, when you're sick and you're losing a lot of bodily fluids and such, or you're um, having uh, gastrointestinal stomach issues, the flu, that kind of thing. You can drop weight, but you usually gain that back because you get all that water reabsorbed. Your body holds on to water because I whooshed all the water out on Friday. I had major, super fast, super quick, stomach to intestines out and down and out. I did. So I was not surprised, but I was surprised that I went up so much. I went down two tenths of a pound and I was surprised I didn't go down more mm -hmm. because I'm just thinking it's my body's equilibrium. It's the water equilibrium that it's trying to get to a good spot on. Harry is up to 167.6. I'm not budging. But you keep bouncing all around it. Anytime you have a brand new low, chances of popping back in and out of it and all around it until your body says, okay, I'm going to stay there. Well, I'm doing That's it. usually what happens. For Wendy, I'll go about three to four days, and then I'll go whoop. And then I'll either go up or I'll stay there three to four days. Whoop. Harry usually does this, but because he's so close to his weight, um, he's just going all around it, his, his new all-time low. we got to get past. We both have to get past these numbers. We have to get to them again and pass them for our body to start adjusting again and then it goes down again so wanted to share that let's go to the big board very quickly see i'm just salt rock solid man i'm just staying right where i'm at i'm just kind of hovering around this area here but it's two days after we ate you have that circle well yeah but this usually takes me about three days to get rid of that yeah so let's see what happens tomorrow i'm hopefully i'll start seeing some results going down from here a little bit I should if I go by past history, but right. Yeah. Um, plus, allergies are really bad. Oh my goodness. Here you go, babe. It um, is. Other than that, Wendy's Wendy, Wendy just kind of did like a little thing here. Well, two and a half, two pounds, yeah. two ounces. I went whoop. Yeah, it's kind of so, weird because you're kind of you're kind of having a hard time a little bit there too. But well, and we know why. Like I said, I had intestinal. I don't know if, I hope to God it wasn't food poisoning. I'll find out today if anybody else oh, yeah, had issues. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the lady in our department to find out how she felt. 
and if there were any issues. Anyway, everybody, I have got to go to work now. So I will see everybody at work. Goodbye. Oh, great. Now I'm as flat as a board. Oh. Hey, you guys, I'm at work and I have got a cherry cola zevia and a strawberry bubbly sparkling water, which I am loving. I've got my electrolytes and my, it's my real light electrolytes with immunity, which I really, really like. I've got some protein strain modified fast bread. I have got the low sodium turkey. And then I've got some uh, plain ground beef for today. Just in case, yes indeed, but that is my lunch for today. I am going to put this away, and then I'm going downstairs and making a delicious cup of coffee, because I can really use one. I'll see everybody in the next segment. It is coffee time. I am getting some wonderful fresh ground, fresh roasted coffee. Not fresh roasted, but fresh ground anyway. There we go. Got my unflavored collagen, about a third of a scoop, about a third of a scoop of the salted caramel MCT oil powder, and I've got my pumpkin spice sweet leaf stevia drops in here. It's going to be delicious, I just knew it. Yeah, that's the ticket. Got my coffee. And what I did was, it doesn't go all the way to the top for some reason, so I push start again, and you get the first, um, almost like the espresso part of the coffee, because they, they filled the rest up with the water. So I do that, and you can stop it at any time. So I stopped it. It's so much richer that way. Oh, so good. So good. Mmm, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, and everything nice in my coffee this morning. Yes, indeed. Mm-mm-mm. Sorry, I'm slurping, but it's hot. And that kind of cools it down. Anyway, everybody, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? My hair oh, is behaving today because it is going to be hot and dry today. And yes, indeed, a dry heat is better, at least for my hair, than a um, humid one. Yes, it is. And you know, I could tell we were going to have a... Um, dry heat today because I made that bread last night and it whipped so good it whipped perfect and I guess that's like okay now tomorrow or is it gonna be humid or is it gonna be dry because they said egg whites are temperamental and they don't do as well in the humidity and I'm starting to believe it I'm starting to believe it anyway you guys I'm excited because we went to Costco and I got the Kirkland egg whites and a lot of people have better success with it. Now, I don't know if the word better, they seem to whip up more readily than some of like the Bob Evans egg whites and some of the like Lucerne or just whatever stores. I think the other one is Best Eggs, Best Eggs maybe. Anyway, you guys, I'm excited to see how my, um, my savory seasoned bread turned out that I used the beef based soup keto chow in today. I really am excited because it was delicious last night and I can't wait to make my sandwich with it today and I'll share all that when we come back in the next segment. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you in a little bit. So I did uh I didn't get much sleep last night. I got like maybe three hours on I've been drinking a lot of coffee trying to get awake, but it just isn't working. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crash for a couple hours, see if that can catch, catch up on some of this sleep, man, because I am just really, really freaking tired. I think that'd be a good idea just to uh, go ahead and lay down. So that's about all I got for coffee time today, man, because, uh, well... I'm just wasted, you know, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay down. I'll talk to you guys in a couple hours, maybe for lunch. Oh, you guys. So I was walking and talking to myself through the phone. I forgot to push record. So I am out in the courtyard early this morning because it's 
excessive heat warning again today. And it's dry, it's a dry heat. Thank you, because we don't have that humidity factor. Anyway, you guys, don't forget, get up and move your body today. <laughs> it would help when I push the button, wouldn't it? Anyway, you guys, I'm feeling good. And I'm excited because the bread that I made, my um, bread that I made with uh, keto chow, beef base soup is amazing. It's amazing. Now I used only two tablespoons of allulose yesterday and it was a little bit crunchy on top, but today because it sat overnight, the bread crust is fabulous. So. I'm thinking I'm gonna start using two tablespoons instead of a quarter of a cup, which is four tablespoons, because it just makes the bread um, less expensive to make. It's like using two thirds of a cup of the egg, egg white protein powder. You know, I'm trying to get it less expensive to make because we're all leaving a ton of the bread and the buns and all of that stuff. So that's the good news. And it, it tastes and looks and feels like homemade French bread or a sourdough bread inside. It's just got such a great texture. I love it. Anyway, you guys, I am going to continue to do my walk. And I just wanted to let everybody know, get up and move your body. Yes, indeed. Hey! Well, here we are again, and I've been click. Oops, <laughs> I've been cleaning the kitchen. We clean up after Wendy. We're playing in here. Guess I should have put that away before I started, huh? Yeah, hold on. There. And it's clean. See, I put everything away. I'm really having a hard time sleeping right now because I'm working too many freaking hours. I'm really busy this time of year. <laughs> Commercials and all kinds of weird stuff going on. Anyways, anyways. So I was kind of like wondering what, what, what am I eating today? Who's doing that? So what I'm having is this, uh, we, I made some of this like a couple days ago and so I'm gonna have this and I've already got it all ready to go, see? I was thinking ahead. Yeah, I was, I was thinking ahead. Put this down. Yeah, okay. Oh. I gotta fix that hole. How you doing? I've also got this bun. It's got meat in it. Wendy made a couple more for us, you know. So I'm gonna heat this up. So I'm gonna have this and the ground beef back there, I guess. Okay. Yeah, get started, right? So basically, I'm gonna take this and this, and it's just a matter of warming it in the microwave, which is really kind of cool, you know. You, it kind of follows my three rules. Easy, I didn't have to make it, and I can put anything on it I want. But just usually mustard, and guess what? It's already on there. So I'm gonna warm these up real quick, get a plate. Yep, okay. <laughs> so I'll put that on there. I think I'm gonna cut this in half. Right, then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it on plate. Now, I already know this is six ounces, so, so I pretty much already know this is six ounces, so it's like I don't, I don't have to wait a day, which is kind of cool. Makes it a lot easier. And then I'm just going to take it, just like this, and throw it in the microwave. So, you know, I, I kind of like used to eat this way when I was, uh, when I was, you know, 
a bachelor uh, during the times in between marriages. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, I would always like go buy a bunch of stuff and keep it in my locker and I just eat that way. And because I worked out constantly when I was in the service, right, it never really affected me all that much. It's right after I got out, man, I kept eating the same way. <laughs> Yeah, things started to change. Can you say like real fat? I really put on 40 pounds. I put on like 40 pounds before I got married to Wendy. Yeah. Anyways, ah. Uh, back here, that on there. It protects me from the wife. That's my, my wife protection shell. Because she doesn't like stuff all over the place, and I don't like to clean it up. Can you say 45 seconds? Because that's how long I'm going to let it go. It's from my knowledge of cooking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See how it keeps it all, nothing splatters, and all kind of goes here. You can just rinse this thing off, you know. So nice, so easy. And all you gotta do is like basically wipe this off and it's good to go. And she doesn't even know I've been using it. <laughs> gotta love it. Okay, there it is, man. That's the whole thing right there. And do you have any idea what I'm gonna have with this today? Do you? If you would have said Zevia root beer, you, ooh, that's the boss. <laughs> Hold on. You know I really like their stuff, right? I drink something every day with my lunch. I just love this. It basically replaced all my soda pop, Zevia did. I love almost all their flavors. Anyways, but this is the one I'm having today. Well, let's face it, this is my very, 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 very favorite Zevia drink. So, I'm having this. Yeah, zero sugar. This one's caffeine free, which is, I could use the caffeine because I'm always tired. But anyways, I'm gonna, where's my food? Where is it? Anyways, I'm gonna go eat now. <laughs> See you guys later. Look at my lunch. That is a beautiful sandwich. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. With pickles on top. Yes, indeed. And this is my savory seasoned toasted bread. Oh yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You guys know what that means. Gotta eat now. Hey everybody, I'm back from work and I have got six pounds of pork country loin or country pork country loin, loin chops right here. And this is my version of an Instapot. It's not and it, it's an XL, but it does the same thing. So I'm just gonna put all my meat in here. Just put my meat in. It's still not defrosted all the way. Well, it's at 6.30. Well, it's pretty, pretty thick, you know. I like cooking it all and then coming back and freezing it or pulling it or there's a lot of bone in this but there's a lot of meat on it too don't make fun of my pan this is the pan i learned how to make toll house cookies on this cookie sheet it's an oldie but a goodie and i love it that thing's about what 50 years it old. was my mom's right and then I grew up with it and then she let me have it when I um, first moved out of the house and everything so yeah. I've kept it and I love it so anyway here let me get this started so I'm thinking with all of these I'm gonna kind of make my own homemade and I'm gonna use a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon because there's so much here. So I am gonna get a tablespoon of onion, onion powder or onion granules. Sprinkle it all in. Gonna have a tablespoon 
of Redmond's Real Salt. Because this is six pounds, you guys. Six pounds. Of meat. Of meat. Ooh, man, that smells good. I'm a garlic girl, so I'm going to use a tablespoon of garlic. And I adore smoked paprika. Adore it. Now I'm gonna put a teaspoon of smoked paprika in here. Teaspoon. Because I have got Redmond's delicious smoked chef's blend. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah I'm yeah. going to put a big teaspoonful in here. Yes, I wonder if they've indeed. got it back in yet. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They look like brown chocolate diamonds right there, man. Yeah, they do. And the smell, the hickory smoke. This is going to give us that smoke. Oh, wow. It just ran right oh, into the smell. Oh, didn't you? Yeah. Wasn't it good? Yeah, oh, yeah. It so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So... There's that. I am going to put a tablespoon of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Tablespoon. Remember, this is six pounds I've got going on here, you guys. Six pounds. That is not a lot. I've got a cup of water. I'm going to put a cup of water in here. Now I'm going to put in about, this bottle of ketchup is 13 ounces. I'm going to put about half a bottle of my ketchup. And this is spicy tomato ketchup and it's Alterna Sweets. It's sweetened with stevia. It's got great clean ingredients, which are right here. Oh, okay. And then all the information. But I'm going to put about half and it's thick stuff. Thick stuff. Let me see my jar. Come on down. Make my own barbecue sauce this way, you guys. That's what I'm doing. I gotta wipe this off real quick. I used about mm, four, five ounces yeah. of ketchup. And this is the spicy tomato ketchup. It's wonderful. Yeah, where's that from? Alterna Sweets. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna put just a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce in there. A couple shakes. Get it a little spicy kick. Huh, Harry? Yep. Just about a, about a teaspoon. Close my lid. I'm going to lock it. I am going to turn it to pressure on this one. You put the little, uh, you line up this for pressure. Now I'm going to turn it on. I want it to fall apart, so I'm putting it on for an hour, you guys. We aren't going to be eating this tonight, I don't think. Yeah. And then that'll just bring itself up to pressure, and it'll cook. It's ready to go. And that's it. When we get done, we're going to have barbecued pork ribs and it's going to be absolutely delicious so let me put these things away and we'll be back in the next segment just put a slit in this but this is from Redmond's Real Salt I placed an order and I bought the Redmond Bix Berry this is electrolytes and they're little oh, packets so wow, you can take them it. yes these are great because I can just throw a few of these in my purse and I don't have to take a big old jar like this. Here's the jar. This is pina colada. Oh, I'm excited, really? yeah. 
new flavor really like it but I like this because you guys you can you can grab a couple and just grab a bottle of water wherever you're at pop this in there this is really good in iced tea too it is. I haven't tried it I did I had it at work and it was really good so I'm very excited it was good. Really? It was really good. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll try it was out. really, really good. Anyway, you guys, just wanted to share that. Got my red Redmond electrolytes. Whatever electrolytes you choose, make sure you guys it has it's made with a good source of salt. Either Redmond real salt, you know, Himalayan pink salt, sea salt, and it's kind of iffy. Several reasons. You don't know where how much has been processed. And there's nanoplastics in the salt water yeah, out there everywhere now. All ocean water now has Now plastic. has salt. So it's best to get it where it's mined deep within Mother Earth. Those are ancient seabeds before all of the pollution that has happened. And I think that it's healthier because all the minerals and um, everything are still intact. So... You know, Redmond Real Light, we do have a, a discount code below. We have a discount code for Adaptive Nutrition where they have great electrolytes. Keto Chow has wonderful electrolytes. You can get drops, you can get powder, and we have a discount code below. But make sure you are taking electrolytes, especially on the Protein Sparing Modified Fast Days, oh, you yeah. guys, because you will lose water oh, weight. Yeah. You will drop. Yes, you will. Okay. We're going to say hi to Sally. She wants to say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Say hi, everybody. People love seeing little Sally girl. Yes, they do. I know you smell You smell pork, huh? Okay, you guys. The um, pressure cooker is ready. But let's go to the calendar because today is done. Tomorrow is... Wednesday. It's a no dairy day. It's protein sparing modified fast day. High protein priority. Eat your protein first. Have a maximum total of 10 grams of carbs, a maximum total 30 grams of fat, and take a walk. Yes, indeed. Anyway, I'm gonna take this. Kind of drips. Ooh, look at that. cooked down and it's all nice and ready and moist and delicious so you just go in there and take your meat out it's just gonna fall off like fall off hmm yum you can pull it you can serve it you can make um, more um, sauce it's just falling apart you guys delicious. Watch out for the puppy. She's right underneath. Anyway, you guys, I've got a ton of pulled pork to work with. So tomorrow I'm going to pull it. I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on it and I'm going to make some pulled pork buns. But for now, we've got delicious pork, super tender, super moist, super delicious. And that's going to do for quite a few days because there's six pounds of meat in here. Now we got to go through and take out the bones, but I'm excited because you can always freeze it too. And then that's a quick and easy lunch. So anyway, you guys, I think we're done for the day. I've got to get this all pulled apart and fixed and done and separated and the bones taken out and all the good stuff. So you guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for the day. Hope you guys like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. I need a little bowl that I can take out the uh, bones with. Here, I've got some. There's some bones in here, huh, Sally?